hit that subscribe button guys for the latest in boxing i'm gonna call what promoter eddie hearn had to say and here we go i met with anthony and his coach rob mccracken on tuesday to discuss our next move aj feels like he deserves it to the uk fans who have supported him up until now to make sure it happens at home it gets to the stage where we're asking why are we looking to do this in the u.s because it's more money but is that really important? At the moment, the fight makes more money in America, but he feels like he owes it to the UK fans to do it at home. This is truly a historic moment, an historic moment for boxing and a very proud moment for me, my family, and everyone at Matchroom. So that is what Matchroom Promoter had to say. He says that, uh, well, he says that the fight makes more money in the u.s which i think it's odd because i would i would imagine that the fight would have made more money in the uk but he says that uh so yeah i don't understand that but uh he says that he he, he uh spoke with aj and uh, rob mccracken this past tuesday and anthony joshua said he wants to fight wilder in the uk because his fans have been supporting him the entire time um and of course they're gonna be supporting him. You know, the UK boxing fans always go hard for their uh fighters. They always go hard for their fighters. I mean, look at Daniel the Boss. Daniel the Boss is, has fought nothing but bums, but you know, I I do see support when it comes to him. Um Dillian White, it's a support, you know. People and the UK boxing fans really support their fighters. I'm not saying that they all support their fighters. Obviously, there's a lot of... I've seen UK boxing fans also, you know, trash their own fighters. But that's just the way it is in any country, right? Some people support them. Some people don't. I mean, look at the U.S. In the U.S., a lot of people shit on their own uh, fighters from their home country. So, you know, they do it all the time. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, just the way the cookie crumbles. But uh, he says the fight should happen in, in the U.K. I, I've been saying this for a long time. I actually want the fight to happen in the UK just because I think for Wilder's sake, it'll be very beneficial for him. I think it'll, it'll give him a big uh, boost in, uh, in you know, basically worldwide appeal, appeal, right? A lot. Of, imagine if they fought in in the UK, and imagine like seventy thousand people, or eighty thousand people, or ninety thousand people you know, attend that fight, right, that's going to be a bunch of people watching while they're in there, that's going to be a bunch of people texting, tweeting, you know, putting it on Facebook, on, you know, recording it, putting it on YouTube, a bunch of people talking uh, about Wilder, a bunch of people talking about this fight, especially if he wins, let's say he knocks out AJ in front of them, that's going to make all those people, like, every, <laughs> if that, if that arena has 90,000 people, that means 90,000 people, 90,000 UK fans just watched AJ knock out, I mean, Deontay Wilder knock out AJ in front of them. That's something that they're never going to forget. It's going to be very historic. 20 years from now, they're going to be like, man, I remember watching Deontay Wilder, you know, come to the UK at Wembley and knock out AJ when he was undefeated, you know. Uh, that's going to be a big deal, and that's going to help him, and that's going to give him more fans. I'm pretty sure he'll probably, matter of fact, he'll probably win uh, the UK boxing fans by doing that because you know one thing I know is about UK boxing fans when a, a fighter you know shows heart when a fighter tries even if he loses they do give that fighter respect they do applaud him you know they applauded Klitschko they were they didn't want Klitschko to beat Anthony Joshua but they applaud Klitschko when he went in there because he put in a good effort right so I would think that they would if Wilder were to win, they would, you know, maybe be cheering him on, probably. Um, so, again, I I think it's beneficial for Wilder to go over there. I think that's a smart move. That's why I was saying, like, he should have gone to the Joseph Parker versus AJ Unification fight because it would have been great to see him there because all the cameras would have been pointing at Wilder and that would have hyped, the, you know, and let's say, especially if Wilder would have, like, gone to the ring apron and started, like, yelling and shouting at AJ, right? That would have hyped up the crowd, but uh you know, I guess Wilder's team wants it in the uh in the US. Oh yeah, he it did because I remember I reported earlier that they wanted it in America. Again, I don't think that that would be good for him. And again, he really doesn't 
Wilder's not really in a position to be calling the shots here, man. It's the truth, though, you know. And I know, I get it. It's annoying, and it, and the truth hurts, but it's the truth. Wilder has to, like I, I admit, like I said in the last video, like he has to just ignore the ego and just go over there and fight him. And dude, if you beat him, then you could say what you want. Say what you want. You know, you you could go around saying I'm the A side because I beat AJ. You say that. It's the truth. But you have to just let your ego aside for a little bit and fight him over there in the UK, right? Just just do it. I'm telling you, man. Who cares? I know it's going to be very hostile cr crowd and, you know, it's going to be like walking into the lines then. But, you know, that's boxing. Many fighters do this where they go to people's backyard. I mean, Terrence Crawford went to uh, Glasgow. That was Ricky Burns' backyard, and everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody in that, in that you know, arena wanted him to lose, yet look at what happened, he was still able to, he was still able to beat Terrence Crawford, uh, Vladimir Klitschko went to, uh, Anthony Joshua's backyard, and I'm pretty, in our, th that was a hostile environment, I'm pretty sure everybody wanted Vladimir Klitschko to lose, and look at how good Vladimir Klitschko still did, you know, he lost, but look at how competitive that fight was. That didn't stop Vladimir Klitschko from dropping Anthony Joshua on his ass. You know, Vladimir Klitschko went to Russia to fight, to defend his world belt against uh, Alexander Povetkin. That didn't stop uh, Vladimir Klitschko from beating Alexander Povetkin. You know, Alexander Povetkin went to Russia, I mean, went to the UK to fight David Hay. You know, that didn't stop him from beating him. You know, pfft. Errol Spence Jr. went to uh, Berman Lane, you know, and that he went to uh, Kell Brook's backyard. You know, everybody was booing him. That didn't stop Errol Spence Jr. from beating, you know, what's his name, uh, Kell Brook. So this is a part of boxing. Sometimes you have to go to the guys back, you know, uh, Alexander Yusek. Alexander Yusek went over to uh, Marius Breeders' backyard over there in Latvia. I'm pretty sure everybody wanted Marius Breedis to win, but that didn't stop him from beating Marius Breedis, did it? Uh, Alexander Yusek also went to uh, a bunch of people's backyards. You know, that's just a part of boxing. Sometimes you got to go to people's backyards and, you know, just do, deal with it, you know, and just train your ass off and win. Try to knock your opponent's heads off. But, yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys think the Wilder should go to the UK? And it would be beneficial for him. Let me know in the comment section below and subscribe, guys. Bye.